Hi everybody, this is Dale. Welcome to my channel, Not Too Shabby Chic. This is hashtag Thrifty Thursday. Yay! And it is an open collaboration hosted by Sherry Buckner Brown of Turquoise Dreaming. All you have to do to participate is put the hashtag Thrifty Thursday in your title or description box and link Sherry's channel, Turquoise Dreaming, in the description box excuse me a minute <coughs> and that's all you have to do and do a video and show what you got from thrift stores from antique stores Dollar Tree any place where you got a good deal even free things I have shown free things that someone just gave me and I got a bunch of stuff that was very thrifty because it didn't cost me a dime so I've got a lot to show you today and I don't know when I'm going to stop, stop <laughs> getting stuff, but I just can't seem to help myself. So let me show you what I got at um, the thrift store here in Gallatin called Gallatin Cares. First, my ultimate bucket list. Isn't this cool? And inside it has bucket list things my ultimate bucket list go skydiving well that's that's not mine uh take a cruise and then it says the date you did it or to check it to add it to your bucket list where you did it who you were with and write about your experience and would you do this again visit las vegas plant a tree learn a new language learn to play an instrument it's just got all kinds of things attend a drive-in movie some of it I don't even know what it is and then towards the back I think I thought maybe yeah no yeah create your own you have a few pages to create your own and I just thought these would be super cool to include in journals so I was very excited and this was a dollar so yay for that then this gorgeous Bible it says true images it's got a pretty bracelet new international version and faith there I just love Bible so I like to keep extra ones so that if I have I need to give somebody one I have one this one is super cool because it is a study Bible and appears that it may be for teenage girls um, It also has, besides the Bible scriptures, notes that accompany the Bible text. Um, an invitation for you is a section, and those things will help you get the most out of the true images that they do. And it's got lo just lots of helps and, and various things. So I just, youth specialties, I knew it had something to do with teenagers. But for me, I like the teenager notes too, because this even in the Old Testament, it's got, you know, lots of neat stuff. So I like it, and I thought this will be good to give someone. And if I don't, the pages that aren't attached to Scripture, I could use in journals. So I love that Bible. It'd be a good study Bible. All about sausage. Who knew we would want to know? all about sausage y'all hold on one moment sorry i had to turn my light on because it was too dark so look at this cover nice and old looking which you know we love and this looks like a cinch binding and this is german old german proverb and i have no idea what it says copyright is 1973 Without sausage, without bacon, purpose in life is forsaken. And if you, Oscar Mayer, you believe that. So this is just a cool book with some really fun uh, images for a cookbook journal that I'm getting ready to do. And I've been collecting so many cookbook things that I'm going to probably try to make three or four. And they're going to be like using these types of 
cookbooks. So be ready and get your pocketbooks out. <laughs> I haven't made a journal and posted one in a very long time because I have been trying to organize my craft room. And I am almost, almost completely done. I just have a couple things left um, to put up that are under my feet. Um, and then for me, it, it's fine. And then I'll be tweaking it as I go. I will do a video of a craft room tour, but I promise you it's not going to look like Pam Van Ees or Stephanie Shalansky's or anybody else's that I've seen because mine is packed to the gills and it's a small room, but it's mine. So I'm blessed to have it and I can now, I think, work a little bit and I'll show you guys that. But anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. Look at that sandwich. Every kind of Oscar Mayer cold cut there is. So it gives you definitions of all the different things. Just a really fun, look at that, sauerkraut and wieners. Love it. You have to make that with mashed potatoes. And it gives you uh, meat spread recipes, tips and uses brunch bread so you have some recipes there's our Oscar Mayer cold cuts mm -hmm. so a fun book for my cookbook and I bought um, one of these on Etsy and I've purchased one on eBay and uh, maybe two on eBay I can't remember um, but anyway, I found this one. Oh, and the, the other book at the Gallatin Cares thrift store, the books um, are a dollar. This is a Betty Crocker cookbook, which is the one I'm going to use, but the other ones don't look like this on the cover, and I think this is pretty. It needs a little cleaning up, which I will try to do, but I don't mind that it's got worn edges and what have you, and a little uh, dirty because that adds to the quaintness, if you will, of the book. Isn't that pretty? A dollar. I mean, I've been paying 10, a, a, between $8 and $13 for the ones that I bought on Etsy or on eBay when you, when you include shipping. A dollar, people. <laughs> like, thank you, Jesus. He blessed me because I want to sell some. And I've got a friend at work who I'm showing how to do stuff, and she's going to come over and do one as well. But the copyright on this uh, looks like 1981 sixth printing, but the copyrights were 1978 and 1979. So definitely is vintage. You know, some of the pages are coming out, but I don't mind because I use whole reinforcers. I've got other, so many cookbooks that the fact that this one's not. So the, the guts aren't in the best condition is okay because I can spread contents from the others into this into this one and it looks like a critter a mouse maybe was nibbling on this poor thing starving to death he thought said cookbook he's gonna get some cheese I guess so anyway this is Betty Crock um yeah, Betty Crocker's. The other ones are Better Homes and Gardens. This is the first Betty Crocker one that I found. So this is super fun. And you've got, you know, similar things to the Better Homes and Gardens. you got your beef cuts. Oh, doesn't that look good? Mmm. <laughs> Fondue. I just like to look at some of the pictures real quick. And this is uh, poached eggs. I never knew how to do. Shirred eggs, scrambled eggs, fried eggs. I know how to fry eggs. Look at that. When you're hungry and you haven't had supper, this stuff looks really good. So then you've got the salads. Fun, fun. And then we've got breads and pastas. A little skimpy on the bread. Donuts. Mm-hmm. Pasta. This is dessert. Yum, 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 yum. Got different pans and cakes. 
Well, isn't that you ever had a strawberry shortcake using a biscuit you've not lived till you do but this I don't know if that's a homemade biscuit or a canned biscuit uh, it's a homemade biscuit because the canned biscuits I don't care for but if you make homemade biscuits you, you can just use Bisquick and do strawberry shortcake girl it will make your tongue slap your tonsils it is so good so fun stuff appetizers I never thought of peanut brittle as an appetizer hmm so we got fun stuff in here and sometimes when I get books you know I always look through every page because I find treasures hidden in books sometimes I have found four-leaf clovers I have found old pictures um, receipts all kinds of things <clears throat> so special helps you know I need lots of special help tells you about canning and freezing blanching fun 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 so I think this is a definite score and love it because I wanted for some reason I don't know why a Betty Crocker that's her book and I got one so that's that then I got this is book covers paper so it's basically craft paper uh, the poundage it's 20 foot roll by 15 inches wide doesn't say so let's take the plastic off get off of me <laughs> oh it's good and thick we used to, when I was a kid, you made book covers out of this stuff. And sometimes when you went to school, when you went to your first class, or your, if you're in elementary school, your class, your teacher would show you how to cover your books. And you could decorate, like draw on this and make it all pretty. So I got a whole roll of that, a quarter. Can't beat that with a stick. And I, I'm thinking about something and you guys can let me know what you think I'm thinking about starting a business and being a personal shopper but not for clothing a personal shopper oh Flo I am so sorry she is mad at me because I forgot about her so sorry so sorry it's okay we love you don't we yes 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 okay lean back um a craft supply junk journal person's personal shopper so I always find really cool stuff so I think what I would do is you'd send me your money I would buy stuff and I would keep a little bit of whatever I bought for you you pay for the shipping for it to come home to you and and I can do that pretty reasonably too and I might keep like or charge you like 10 percent I don't know so what do you think I don't know I thought it sounded fun this uh, said it was a dollar 79 from Hobby Lobby on clearance but I got it for a 10 cents I believe Isn't that cute a little suitcase a dime hmm. then I got this beautiful huge tabletop doily for 50 cents yes you heard it 50 cents gorgeous huh <laughs> love it I was so excited and um, this doesn't go this is something Pam Benny sent me I was going to use it on something and I had it in the wrong bag then I got all this jewelry and they had different prices marked on the bags I'm just going to grab it all out here um, and then they had loose jewelry and as is my normal habit I made an offer so like this was 50 cents one bag was a dollar so let's just add it up a dollar fifty two dollars two fifty five fifty six fifty eight fifty and this didn't have anything. 950, 
these would have probably been 50 cents a piece so about 15 dollars worth and i i just piled it all in and i said how about five dollars for all this and she said sure so i was very excited so let me show you i got these vintage earrings ear bobs aren't those adorable pretty on a journal cover this pretty little flower pin then believe it or not these are very cute what I'm getting ready to show you <laughs> um, and for a journal but I don't know that it was cute for why what it shows <laughs> where's the other one there it is okay you ready it's a lighthouse isn't that pretty I got two of them because they were earrings who wears and these are clip-ons who wears lighthouse ear bobs and there's a little sailboat I mean I don't know but it'd be cute on a journal then there's the lighthouse pin and it's got a little bling um, at the top that's like a lapel pin I love this this is like you wore it like a lariat style you brought it around your neck and kind of flipped it over um, looped it over I don't know if you know what I'm talking about I'm fixing to show you if I can get this knot out um, I just did that well, okay here we go so you would put it around your neck and then you would do this and you would wear it like so and it would be pretty to wear now except I think this would make a great bookmark this would stick out the top this would stick out the bottom obviously it's too long so I'll have to shorten it but wouldn't that be pretty so idea note to self chain with pearl or any kind of dangle um, for a bookmark love it but I, I'm in love with this this is a pretty necklace um, I don't this is not vintage I don't believe it's just in the basket but I thought that the um, rhinestones and the colors were really pretty and I'm not gonna sit here and let you make you watch me untangle the whole thing so I did it anyway ha huh. so isn't that pretty won't this be pretty on covers or on pages absolutely beautiful I could see that like going down the side of the of a cover on the front if you did some kind of fancy schmancy journal um, we have these are all earrings and I like them because they're orangey peachy little flowers so you just break the earring back off of it and you've got a cute little flower rose so the eight of those then I got this cute little snowman pin see his dangles that cute it's a great on a Christmas journal and he's got little hearts on his um, scarf I love him look at this one these are reindeers doing the can can Christmas journal obviously uh, and it's a brooch super cute these are so cute they're little girls this is the brooch she's saying her prayers so on a prayer journal or any type of journal really a little golden book wouldn't she be pretty so I love her and then you had the little baby earrings that go with it 
I wouldn't wear these on my ears, but they'll be darling on a journal page. They're cute. They're my favorites. I love them. And we have this is adorable. This is a brooch, and it's a coat hanger with a shirt, a bathing suit, and a pair of pants. Let me see. Isn't that cute? Too fun. Love it. God just blessed my socks off again. He's so good to me. And so that means you guys are going to get more stuff. And this um, I thought was pretty. Just a little gold plate. And some of the rhinestones are missing off of it. So that doesn't matter to me. So I'll put something else on there. And then these I thought. These are little earrings. That are all little roses. But if I break off the back. As you can see that one's already broken off. Won't that be cute on journal pages and stuff? A little itsy bitsy flower. And you've got all the colors. So love it, love it, love it. I guess I'll put that back in here in case it tries to get lost. Then here we have... Oh, these, these are little snowmen. Maybe they go with the snowman brooch, but they're little mini snowman earrings. So, got some fun, fun stuff. And I love these Santa Clauses. And somebody wore these on their ears. And they're resin. Isn't he cute? The cutest little face. So, I got a pair. So, I got another one. So... That's all of those. No, I'm not done. Then um, I got this from a friend of mine at work. She went to a, a antique-ish store and found some cookbook stuff. The girl that I'm going to show how to do cookbooks and this. And this is really cool. A note to the reader. This volume was created from 35 millimeter microfilm made available to Merit by the New York Times. Copyright first one was 1906, last one uh, 1978. And this book is super cool. So you've got the neatest images. It takes you from 1851 all the way through 1978. So there's New York Daily Times, December 27th, 1856. And we'll just skip through the Pony Express, the Telegraph. It's just got fun stuff. Another Edison Triumph. Fun, fun. And she, um, the, when she went to pay for the stuff, the lady said, you can just have them. I'm like, I have never had anybody at an antique store tell me I can just have stuff. Look at the first dishwasher. <laughs> um, so these are just super fun. Panama Canal officially opens. And you can learn history while you're doing it. Some baseball stuff. I just love this book. Soviet orbits man and recovers him. Well, thank goodness they didn't lose him. All this stuff fun. Age of technology was between 18, 1938 and 1956. So anyway, isn't that fun? And that's the back which looks like it's backwards, but I love that book. So she gave me that and got it at a different store. Then I got this Santa. Look at him. 
I collect Santas if they're really different. And he's got like a cloth bag. And they put the little cape on him like paper mache. But look at his head. He wasn't like that when I bought him. She put him in a bag with my other stuff. And when I was going out to the car, I whacked his head. And his tip fell off. I was so mad because he was only 50 cents. But I'm going to take a pom-pom and put it right there. And that way, I can still have him. Isn't he cute? I just love him. So that is my Santa. And I have a few other things to share with you that I got at Dollar Tree. Well, this isn't from Dollar Tree. This was at um, uh, the Painted Tree, which is in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's a big mall kind of thing with different booths. But it's uh, mostly new stuff. But isn't this colander cute for my cookbook journal? A little mini colander. I'm either going to hang it part of the tassel or I'm going to... Uh, tie it to the inside or do something like that with it but I love this I thought it was so cute and then I got this made with love in Germany cocktail napkins um, I wish I was a unicorn then I could stab stupid people with my head that isn't that funny <laughs> but it looks very retro-ish you know, you can't see her face, but there she is. I wish I was a unicorn so I could stab stupid people with my head. I just love that. So you'll be seeing that in a journal, I'm sure. Now, here are my, some of my Dollar Tree things. I got this little tray um, because I have pegboard right here behind my desk that you can't see. Um, and I will have that for a little ledge. I have got some baskets and things, but not enough. So anyway, at the Dollar Tree, I couldn't believe they had this. So I thought I would see how it would work. Then I got this gorgeous tissue paper. I haven't seen these roses before. And it's got the silver, the wood grain, and the pink. But I love that. And then I got some parchment paper by the sheets because I don't like to have to roll it off and guess. So I got two boxes of that for my journals because you know we like parchment paper. And then I got some more of my favorite stickers that I found. The vintage looking telephone, camera, sewing machine. I hoard those, but now that I've got quite a few, I can use them. Another the same thing. I love this one. I've had this before. It looks very vintagey, and I love it. Another one of those. And I love this one, the books. I've had that before and used it. Then I got these rub-on transfers because I love using the numbers on tags and different things. So that is super cool. And more stickers. I got these pretty paper ish turquoise flowers and I got some in white so that I can stain or dye whatever I want the gold which I've used before I love it and here's some more of these vintage stickers I love the stacked suitcases so I got that another book or two another one of those so all those and I also got Joby, I know you're going to want this. Is that not stinking adorable? A flamingo, and he's rubber right here, poof ball ink pen. I couldn't resist. And, you know, I had to get two. And then I finally found some of this stuff. Pam Van E has used this quite a bit. And somebody else used it. Julie with I'm Scrapping Happy, I think. And I have not found any. And I finally did. And I love that it's white. But it looks like it's got little gesso globs all over it. But it looks super cool. It's like tulle. 
with the paint blobs. And then I got me some scrunchies, which you probably don't care about, but they're good for your hair. I got the old country truck ribbon, super cute, which would be for a farmhouse journal, or I can use it for my Christmas journal. I mean, kitchen journal. These pretty diamond ink pens for journals. Thank you cards. Uh, um, I don't know why I got these. So tell people thank you, I'm sure. And I love these, the laser cut um, flowers cards with the envelopes. And I got these. And now I have no idea why I got them. At the time I bought them, I had a good idea. I have no idea. But I bet I could use it for a tassel. Then I got this, these little baskets that I can hang on my pegboard. On my little peg things that stick out. Little hooks. So that is fun. And I got this tissue paper. It's bees. Lilo Crafts. Raina. Bees, please. Look at it. Thank you. Dollar Tree. Love it. Stick that in the basket. And I'm not done. Almost. Okay. Love this paper. I've sent some out in Happy Mail and it feels like handmade paper. Um, this is sparkly, metallic, but look at that one. But if you hold it, it feels like it's fabric and paper mixed together. So I got several packs. I hoarded it. Look at that green. And it's thick. I mean, I just love it. It's got different colors and sizes and textures for pockets, for tag. I first saw it um, with Anna on Anna's Chateau. She had some she used, and I was like, well, I don't ever see that. So I started looking and was on the hunt, and I found it twice. So I bought a whole bunch. <laughs> so, you know, if they quit selling it, I want to be sure I have some. Isn't that turquoise gorgeous? Mm -mm -mm. Love, love, love. And I got some gingham, black gingham check uh, ribbon that will be pretty in my kitchen journal. And I don't even care for unicorns, but it's a shaker. So, you know. For a little golden book, if I ever do one, because I haven't yet, this would be cute. Um, and I can use my unicorn napkin. I wish I was a unicorn so I could stab stupid people with my horn. Go with that. Then I got these little thingamajigs to put in my pegboard. Like that. And more thank you notes and I don't know why I got all these thank you cards I think somebody gave me these I don't think I bought these <laughs> I just can't imagine why I would I think I think somebody gave these to me and I just stuck them in that bag and then I got the red and black check for my kitchen journal and I believe girls and boys or girls so there's probably no boys um, that wraps up my thrifty thursday so i hope you liked my stuff i'm sorry flo i'm just we get it getting all covered up it's horrible so we appreciate you watching and um, hope you'll come back in the next video which will be friday and what day is that friendship friday yay so we'll see what i do on this week's friendship friday know you are loved guys and i love you 
please hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed and the like button and please leave comments because it really encourages me and other YouTubers and I am trying so hard to get to 2,000. I've been at uh, over a thousand for over a year and I, I, I just really want to get to 2,000 and if y'all could help me you would just make my life wonderfuler. <laughs> It would just be wonderful because I'm going to do a huge giveaway of supplies like you've seen on Friendship Friday. And I may give away a journal or two. I mean, I'm going to have a celebration is all I can tell you when I hit 2000 I also got this at Dollar Tree. Is that not cute? And I thought that would be cute on a farmhouse journal on the cover. Yeah, I know, but I think it would. So, anyway, with that, welcome to my channel. Please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell so that you can be notified every time I do a video. And, um, uh, what else? Leave a comment. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.